Hey y'all, Paula Dean here, coming to you from the High Point Furniture Market. Last night, I had the best time hosting the first Paula Dean Party Challenge, and I was so excited to be here with the winning team, Red Hot Freedom. Now these talented up and coming young chefs from Guilford Technical Community College competed against five other teams to see who could assemble the most spectacular edible centerpiece ever. Well, why don't we get started with you, Chef LJ. Uh, how did you get your team ready? How did you prep them for this competition? Well, I'm so proud of the team. They were given three hours during class for the past uh, six weeks to uh, prepare, uh -huh. and they came through with flying colors. Yes, they did. Now, why don't we get to know who is Red Hot Freedom? Shanna, last night was pretty intense. Now, what pushed your centerpiece to the top, do you think? Well, I feel that we displayed a great sense of teamwork, and we've also all worked together before. Um, and Chef really tried to get us to change our concept a few times, but we stuck to our guns. You stuck to yeah. your guns. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it came out great, so we're all really happy with the outcome. Zach, why did uh, you pick 4th of July for the for your centerpiece? What that thing? What, how did y'all come up with that? Uh, the group of myself knowing that we wanted to work with fruit, uh, mm -hmm. and with the help of Chef Rush, we knew that the 4th of July was something that Working with fruit, we can bring out the much, most of the colors that are in the four yes. of July, so that's why we chose that. Yes, and y'all y'all did a great Thank job. You. Amanda, I couldn't help but notice the, the teamwork between y'all. What was it like working side by side with these other folks to win the competition? Uh, well, like Shana said, we had all worked together before, so we kind of knew each other and how each other worked. Yeah. And we, um, we got together and planned out what everybody was going to do, so whenever it came time, we all knew what we had to do, and we got done. You know, I love that. I can't, you can't, but we can. So, Jerry, what does winning this competition mean to you? Well, for me, it's uh, it's experience more than anything mm -hmm. else. It's also mm -hmm. exposure. So, um, anytime you're in a competition, it, it takes your skills and, and really magnifies them right. and, and makes you improve or die trying. And uh, it's nice to put on your resume, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so let's start out with Little Rascals over here. Applaud. Can't see. Oh, you want to see that? You want to get a close-up mic? Can we show the... Yeah, can you? There's Little Rascals. His smile is close by. They still Uh-huh. All right, so we'll go over here now. Success will be next. Can y'all see we go. success? See the graduation cap on the top? It's a young man's room. He's coming in to get his uh, cap and gown to go to graduation. Okay, so next up is right here in the center on the horizon. Let's get a tight shot of this one for you. Way to wild turkey. No endorsement. <laughs> Very good. And red hot freedom. Oh! Paula. Eric, I don't. I don't think it's a tie. I don't either. I don't I think it's a tie. I think Red Hot Freedom Woo! is the winner. And the winner of the competition is, by unanimous decision, Red Hot Freedom. Nicely done. You guys very excited. Lay up. Come on, let's get you guys over and here. You know, y'all, I think after a week like America has been through, what an appropriate theme they had and what an appropriate winner. Congratulations! Well, I want to thank all of y'all, Chef. I had a blast, and I'm so happy for each one of y'all. I just know that these budding young chefs are 
hungry to take the cooking world by storm. So watch out for them, y'all. Until next time, best dishes and love.